Hey guys, Crewman here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install your brand new RTX 5070 into your gaming computer. This video will show you how to actually install the card into your computer and how to install it either using the 12 volt high powered cable adapter that comes with the card or using a 12 volt high powered cable that comes with the PSU. This will make you this will show you how to check the cables and to make sure everything is safe so that you don't have any issues. Now, the 5070s have not had any issues yet. But you never know, and this guide will make sure you do everything right. So here is my test bench, which we'll be using as the setup computer for the purposes of this video. When you are getting your computer ready to install a graphics card, you always want to make sure that it, that it is lying face down so that you are not installing the graphics card when the computer is standing up, as that's not safe. Without further ado, let's get to installing the card into the test bench or case. So first, you want to make sure that you line up the brackets with the graphics card and you want to make sure that the graphics card is also in line with the PCIe slot. You should hear a click when it goes in. So once you double check that, you're going to want to screw the graphics card into the computer. So once it's installed correctly, then we can focus on plugging it in. First, I'm going to show you how to plug it in via the 12 volt high powered cable that adapter that comes with your power supply. First, you want to make sure that there's no recessed pins in the cable itself, which would indicate that the cable is damaged. Once you check that, you can go ahead and align it into the graphics card. You're going to basically just want to drop it into the graphics card, but not force it in yet. Just want to make sure everything lines up perfectly like so. Force it in and you're going to want to listen for a click sound. Once you hear that click sound, if you see no gap between the cable and the card, that's it. You're good to go. Thank you again for watching this video and please like and subscribe. However, if you want to install it via the adapter that comes with the GPU, let's go to that right now. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to install it with the adapter that came with the GPU. Now, with the pigtail adapter, you basically are able to use older power supplies that don't have a 12 volt high power cable. It requires two 8 pin or 6 pin to 8 pin connectors. Now, because the TDP of this GPU is pretty low, you can actually daisy chain them if you'd like. So you can use one connector that has two slots, like you can see here, or two uh, 8 pins pigtailed and that won't be a problem now i would recommend that you probably just use a single one so if you have a power supply with two eight pins i would recommend that but that's honestly okay if you don't as it won't make it unsafe or not so i'm going to show you how to install it with two eight pins you just plug them in like that and you can see the one pigtail right there again you can use two pigtails if you want which I don't normally recommend, but for this power for this graphics card, it's perfectly okay. So I would definitely recommend plugging those in first, and then you're going to want to install it, the plug in your graphics card like so. So once you have them ready to go, we're going to go ahead and take the adapter and we're going to plug it in to the to the graphics card. So you're going to want to take the adapter, pre-bend it or not, that's totally up to you. And then you're just going to align it in, and you're going to list it for a click and you're just going to want to push it in and you should hear the click now i'm re-recording this over bad audio so you're not going to exactly hear the click and i had to force mine in a little bit but it got it was in just fine and remember what you're looking for after you get it in you notice mine took a second to force in and that's totally okay if we're being honest and if it does take a second just recheck the adapter and everything's okay see you can see right here i'm just checking it to make sure that there are no issues with the pins and there aren't any, so I'm going to re-plug it back in. So I put it back in, and it actually just goes in right away the second time around. I wanted to show you this because a lot of people have had issues plugging their 40 series cards in. And I want to show you that sometimes it's okay to not get it in the first try. And that's what it looks like, fully installed. And you can see that there's no gap in the card, which and the card and the plug, which means we are good to go. And this is a success, successful installation, and you're ready to game. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below.